What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and the continued support. Um, I've taken a little break since I got back from Japan, just trying to get back into the routine of things here in Vegas. But Japan was amazing. Um, through and through, the people, everybody was so welcoming and super great. Not just at Japan Top Team with the team, but everybody in general. Just random people I'd meet on the streets or just be walking by. Everybody was so welcoming. Made me feel right at home. I loved it there. So th thank you thank you all so much for that. The food in Japan, literally, I keep saying it like this, it's the best way to say it. Uh, every meal I had was the best meal I ever had. It was so good. Um, yeah, Japan was was a great trip. Uh, again, thank you to Kai and all those guys over there, and and the whole team, um, Tarek and Hiroya and uh, everybody at Japan Top Team. Uh, the fact that we could just end that entire trip with all three of us winning on the Ryzen on the Ryzen on the Ryzen New Year's Eve extravaganza on the on the New Year's Eve Ryzen card was amazing. It was great. That arena was. Electric. It was literally, literally sold out from beginning to end. The support from the Japanese fan base is, is just, it, it's just a little different over there. I hope everybody that tuned in from here here in the States uh, enjoyed the show. Um, and not just my fight, but the rest, of, the rest of the card as well. It was such a great experience. It, it's hard for me to really, I'm not the most emotional person, so it's hard for me to like express to everybody what that, what that whole night and and trip to japan meant so just thank you again uh for everything so yeah that may have been one of my that may have been like the top mma experience of my life really that was that was so unique and it was an honor to be a part of that card um i think that'll lead to some pretty big things here in the future here soon um, whether that be here in the states or back in japan uh I'm open for either. Uh, any any excuse to go back to Japan is a good good excuse for me. So, yeah, like I said, uh, I've just taken a little bit of time to decompress and 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 get back into the swing of things. Training here at home in Vegas at Syndicate, and just relax. I still got some of the hairs a little bit fading, but <laughs> um, I think this may stick around a little bit. I'm kind of digging it. I don't know. What do you guys think? But yeah, since I am since I am back home, and I do have a. A much larger fan base from overseas than than when I left. If there's anything you guys want to see or would like for me to share about uh, life here in the states, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Um, whether that be training or just everyday life or like something here in Vegas, you guys want to check out or whatever. Thank you all so much for the support. It's it it it's really un unreal to me. Uh, all the comments and everything, every video. I mean, I still have to go back and hit translate on everything, but it still means so much to me that everybody's taking just a little bit of time to to share their thoughts on, um, to share their thoughts with me uh, about about the fight or about whatever. Really. Speaking of which, so I'm here in my office um, at home. I will. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour real fast. Check it out. I want to get a sign or something for right here, but this is the office. This is what it's looking like. Um, no TV for fight review or nonsense, whatever. Uh, each one of these cards for all these UFC posters I have, I fought on each one of these. This one's a uh, this one's great. Uh, it's got my cousin Ricky. Shout out, shout out Ricky Simone. Uh, we both fought on this card in Sacramento. Unfortunately, we both came up a little bit short, but can't win them all. And we've only gotten better and grown as fighters and competitors since then. Um, I think the rest of these ones. I think I have a win on all these other ones, except for, except for that one. But that one's got Ricky, so I got to keep it up there. I think I fought Lewis Smoka on that one. Got a first round uh, KO on that, or TKO. I can't remember what they officially ruled it as. I'm pretty sure that was that one. Either way, uh, the colors on that one's like my favorite. Um, fought Eamon Zahabi on this card with Cowboy and Aya Quinta. And Brunson and Theodoru, R.I.P. Um, fought Draco Rodriguez in Texas on the Lewis and Gon card, I want to say. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, and then uh, got one of Shino's fight kits over here. One of my own fight kits in the UFC. And over here we've got just some merch. I'm sure you guys seen some of these shirts. Boom. Which you can find these on a... Uh, on vendetta.com we've been having some technical issues with uh with the website right now but i'm hoping to get that resolved pretty quickly uh, i was hoping to get it done before the fight but 
yeah, just I, I can I couldn't unfortunately, so I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, you can find this one. You can also find these are my older shirts, Vince Medetta Morales. Um, those ones are gonna be on sale, uh, like 15 bucks I think, plus shipping. But yeah, so you can find all these on Vendetta.com. Um, of course, represent the heritage. And mask from the rising fire. I'm gonna hang that up along with the trophy I got over there. I don't know if you can read that. Super cool. Yeah, just some gloves, some of the goals, and just things for me to focus on. I like Rubik's cubes. It's me. <laughs> yeah, like I said. So I work on my app in here. The the podcast that I run with my cousin Ricky Simone, which we've got to get back on. Uh, we've just with our schedules, man, we stay pretty busy. So I'm hoping we can get get another episode or two up here pretty soon. Um, you can find a few of those on YouTube. I'll put that in, in the in the description below. Um, you can also find it on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Podcasts. I think is where it's at. Yeah, you can you can find you can find our podcast called Just Cause on there. Just me and my cousin Ricky Simone. Yes, I even play some video games. I'm thinking about start, starting a stream just to interact. I'm, I'm playing them anyways. I might as well try and I might as well be interacting with with, uh, with people while while I'm doing so. So, yeah, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe I can get that thrown up. Oh, we got a big week coming up next week. Um, it is Saturday the 27th right now. Next week on Friday, February 2nd. Uh, my roommate and friend Eric Beck's got a fight, um, which I'm cornering him for. So I'm honored to be to be able to share that moment with him and be in the back and help him get primed and ready. Yeah, and then the the following day we've got a fighter from China who's on the road to the UFC. Um, I don't know where they're doing that card. It, I think that's part of the UFC. I'm not real sure. Um, I got to figure that out this week. But anyways, they asked me to be a part of the corner uh, along with the uh, with head coach John Wood. So. Uh, honored to be in there for him too. Uh, he's been at the gym since I was in Japan, so he's he's settled in quite nicely. He's a strong featherweight. Um, I think he's gonna have a good showing. He's a he's a scrappy dude. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, that that'll be fun. Uh, this is the guy. That's him right there, Lee Kai. But yeah, so we got a busy. I got a busy week next week. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get some behind the scenes stuff just so everybody can kind of see what it's like going into a fight. Or just some, yeah, just some behind the scenes stuff so they can get a feel of like what fight night looks like for the fighters and, and the cornermen and the coaches and stuff like that. I think that'll make a fun little video. But but yeah, up until then, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in and the continued support. Um, I'm looking to continue these embeddeds and keep them going. So yeah, let me know what kind of stuff you guys would like to see. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Hope everybody's doing well. Be great and I'll see you next time. Cheers.